back again with another i hate it when i say back again like it just sounds so corny <laughs> anyway y'all anyway, so if you see me looking between the camera and like this little thing that you could probably see in the corner that is my phone i got this new mount or whatever because the camera that i have doesn't have like that self looking screen whatever it's whatever it's called basically this camera does not have like that front flip whatever so i'm using my phone and i have it on like this little five dollar kind of like device that i got from ross best thing that i could have bought so sorry if i'm looking between you know each monitor this is a good way to record a video for youtube and also be live for instagram i just realized that anyway so i'm going to show you how i dye my natural type 4 hair i believe it's 4c i don't know the middle is so loose and then like everywhere else is really really tight and thick that's all i know i think it's 4c anyway the brand that i use is the Begin or begin i think it's Begin. I don't know. I've been using this stuff for years. Literally years. And I get it from the Beauty Supply. And I believe they sell this at Sally's. This is like a good $5.99. $4.99 a box. One box usually does me pretty well. Anywhere from $5 to like a good $7. Depending on your location and where you go. So this is the oriental black that's the only color i use i like jet black hair i just think it's just think it fits me so well on my skin tone stuff so what you get are the instructions these may these may this used to come with gloves no no gloves anymore yep they don't come with gloves anymore i don't get what's with it it used to come with gloves you know how like the relaxer kits they used to have like the gloves on the inside. They don't do that. They don't do that no more. Anyway, this is the dish that you'll get. Okay. Can you see it better that way? Um, this is the dish you'll get. This is how much powdered dye you get. This is 0.21 ounces. 6 grams. Okay okay six grams i personally don't use this dish i use it to measure or whatever but i use like an old tupperware container that i'm going to throw away and that's probably why i don't have any more tupperware because i just use it off of my hair dye and threw it away so i might be stuck using this i guess maybe i don't know so you have one half, one fourth, and then you have a full. A full is this entire container, okay? I use full because I'm going to use this entire thing to color my hair. Depending on how much hair you are going to dye, that's, that's related to how much water you use. So I will go ahead and fill this up. Like Act like I'm filling this up. Filling this up with water. Put in the dye, stir it up until it is liquid. You don't want any clumps, okay? No clumps. And then I'll just go in and start applying to my hair. Since my hair is natural but it is dyed, I let mine sit for a good 15, 20 minutes. Only dye my hair every few months. Literally, when you notice your hair is not as dark or whatever color you are using it's not as dark as it used to be that's when you honestly realize dang i ain't dyed my hair in months like it's been probably like four or five months since i dyed my hair i don't even think i dyed my hair for the last set of crochet braids i had but yeah it it definitely lasts long be like shampooing and conditioning and hair mask and just getting your hair wet in the shower i always so yeah First thing that I'm going to do now is go ahead and detangle my hair. If you see like a little bit of definition, like literally just a little bit, that's because I had my hair in 
two strand twist that's how I wear it under my wig um I'm gonna take my bottle of water sweet almond oil and castor oil and this castor oil that I'm using now has the do do I sign in it or whatever I'm just gonna lightly mist my hair I do not and I just wash my makeup brushes I need to cover those that I forgot to mention um, wear something that you do not care about this is an old beat up tank top that I'm not going to wear out um, because this dye stains I mean pretty much all dyes stain but I find this one to like mess some stuff up like I dyed my hair one time in the bathroom and I accidentally got some dye on the door and the door is white so now it's like little black spots of dye of black brown dye and I have to repaint the door so just FYI and I probably got my little thing of water okay I'm really upset about not having no gloves got this little old bowl Take your dye. Has like this little safety cap, which is nice. You want every ounce of this, okay? Me, yeah, I swear. Dip it in. What is? What is? Fruit fly come from bastard this is what it should look like now you can go ahead and add uh like a base like vaseline or coconut oil to your hair i don't personally care to i don't really feel like it makes a difference at least not to my hair since there's no gloves i'm just gonna dig right in get your perimeter again I wear a lot of wigs so the perimeter is the biggest issue for me you know that's that's just the biggest part
doing your hair after dyeing it that the water eventually runs clear don't want any leftover residue the shampoo that i used is this carol's daughter repairing sulfate free shampoo and yes my fingernails are black that's what it so i usually don't use a towel for my hair i usually usually use a t-shirt but i don't have one up here right now that i will use for my hair so this is just gonna do as you can see the girl's just black and i'm feeling it love it I'm trying this African Pride Olive Miracle Anti-Breakage Treatment Deep Conditioning Treatment and it's 43 milliliters, 1.5 ounces in this little package and basically it helps strengthen, repair and restore weak and damaged hair, deeply moisturizes and conditions to provide softness and healthy look and shine. After shampooing, blot hair, dry with a towel, apply deep conditioner after 5 minutes rinse out. I more than likely will keep it in a little bit longer than that and then you know go styling and if you want to use this as a leave-in treatment you can